All right, hi everyone, and welcome to my webinar. And uh, my name is Jan, and today's subject will be on how to create a website in multiple languages. Okay, so first of all, uh, I would like to point out that uh, having a multilingual website is extremely, extremely important. Okay, so number one, why multilingual? So I did some research, and basically, we understand that over 74% of all global users that speak languages are, uh, are other than English. Okay, so basically, when you make a, let me give you an example. Um, if you're making a website, and if it's for, let's say a client, the, a local client, okay, that speaks, I would say, just one language that can communicate with only la one language. Like for example, I don't know, a plumber, somebody that doesn't go out outside his local area. So okay, so a, a single language would be fine, okay? Or uh, I don't know, a dentist, okay? But if let's say you're building, a, for example, an e-commerce site or a portfolio wh where people can actually, I don't know, get in touch with them and communicate in, m in more than one language and maybe hire that person because I'm, I'm guessing that the client that you guys have uh, is asking for a website to put themselves more out there, not only locally, but globally as well. So yes, it is extremely important that people can communicate uh, in different languages. So this is why it's it's also very important to have a multilingual website. All right. So today uh, I will teach you guys on how to create a multilingual website uh, to show you the steps, the first steps that you need to take uh, every time you, you you make a website uh, and you want to turn into a, a, a secondary language website um, and you're going to see how easy it is. Okay. So first of all, let's, uh, let's have a small review uh, of our, of our distribution model. Okay. So first of all, what you need to do is you need to create uh, your page in the first, in the first language. Okay. So now that you want to create a different language website, you need to duplicate the page, okay? Because all you need to do is change the content, right? So before you duplicate that page, I would like to note that it's extremely important to make sure that your page, page is responsive. Why? Because if let's say you're duplicating a page and it's not responsive, then it, it, it's double the work and this is not something that you want to, to do. So first of all, if let's say, Right now we're working on an English page, okay? Uh, English version of the page. Let's make it responsive first, and then when we want to make it a uh, when we want to make our website multilingual, then we duplicate that page, okay? So duplicate that page only when you finish making it responsive. Then all you need to do is translate the line, uh, translate the content, okay? So this is basically the, the distribution model. This is how it works. It's as simple as that, okay? So I would like to show you the website that I have here. There you go. So I'm just gonna publish this. Also I'm gonna send it to you. It's the same one that I always send to you. I'm just gonna paste it here so that everybody can get it. Go ahead. Now in this website, you're gonna see on the top right hand side, if you go on language, you have English, French, Francais, or Spanish, for Espanol. Um, if you click on Francais, you're gonna see that my whole content, by the way, I also speak French, uh, the whole content of my website is translated, well, most of the content is translated in French, okay? Um, so I'm literally, literally changing languages. And you can also see that my menu also has changed, okay? Um, and I'm also going to show you how to do that. All right, so this is English. If I go to language, I go to Francais. So I have everything in French as planned. If I go to Espanol, I have everything in Spanish as well as my menu, okay? And this is exactly what I'm gonna teach you on how to actually do what I just did, okay? Um, all right, so step one, what we wanna do is that we wanna create sort of a folder and inside the folder, we want to put all of our second language stuff, right? So step one, creating a menu, okay? In other words, this is basically creating a menu, okay? So since you'll be duplicating the page, you need to store these pages somewhere, 
okay, like a, in a web view folder that you also call as a menu. So how do we do that? So number one, we go on our platform, okay? We're gonna go on pages, okay? Uh, we're gonna press, you see that icon here, add new menu, you're gonna click that, okay? This menu seven, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it, sorry, I'm gonna call it um, French, you can call it Francais, you can call it whatever language you want, okay? Or French test, there you go. And you're gonna see that it updates on itself, okay? So how to do that, how to create a new menu, you go to pages, uh, you select the plus sign and you name your menu. Example French, like I just did with you guys, French test. Next, what you wanna do, you want to duplicate the page, the home page. So what you're going to do, you're gonna go here, Again, you don't you don't exit this this pop up, duplicate, and you're going to see that the page goes straight down here. And then, which is step three, you're going to click on settings, and you see included in top menu. These are all your menus. These are all your let's say folders, and you're going to transfer it to French test, and you're going to click OK. And suddenly, what happens is that in this top menu, the home page that you duplicated disappeared. Where is it now? It's on the French test. Okay, so let's go back so that you can also see my cheat sheet. Um, so step two would be duplicating the pages, exactly what we just did right now. Okay, so the steps is go to pages of your studio, place your mouse over the page name, select the duplicate icon, and it's gonna duplicate and put itself at the bottom. Then st step three would be transferring the duplicated page. So let's transfer every duplicated page to the menu. To do that, you go to, again, to the Pages tab of your studio, place your mouse over the page name, select the settings icon, and go to include in, I included a picture, uh, and select the menu that you previously created, and then click OK. And this is exactly uh, what we just did right now, OK? So now that we did that, OK, we're going to go to the French test. We're going to click on Home, right? Now, it may be confusing. Uh, what I would suggest to do um, would be to change the page name. So the page name, instead of home, you can say home fr test to be sure that this that this is what you're updating. Okay. There you go. Home FR test. And then all you need to do is to change the content. Okay, of the whole page. Now, personally, I just go here, content, so that I don't screw up anything in in, in the website. So I just need to change content. I don't even need to change pictures. Okay. If I want to change something specific, then I guess this is your choice. And you go to the design and you change your design. All right. So you translate the whole language uh, and then you rename your page. Okay, translate language. Okay, this is exactly what we did. Now, all we need to do is basically duplicate the, the menu and make sure that we put the menu in all the uh, translated language. Now, of course, we need to also make sure that every time that we go to a different language, the menu changes. Okay, so um, this is exactly what we're going to do. So, number one, exactly what do we want to do or don't do? Okay, this is why it's the Webby don't. Um, if your menu, once you did all the changes, if your menu is repeated on all pages, you need to change the menu to the chosen language, okay? So to do that, you need to make sure that the repeat on all pages is only applied to the language it's associated to and not to the pages, to, to all the pages of the website because you want your menu to change uh, language, of course, okay? So this is what we're going to do, okay? Let's go back to my platform. So this is the English homepage. Okay. What I'm going to do, I'm going to add, I'm going to open my French version, home FR. And I'm also going to open my Spanish homepage. Okay. So I have home FR and Spanish FR. Okay, cool. So what I'm going to do first is um, I'm going to copy this menu and paste it somewhere. Number one, I need to unrepeat on all the pages. Of course, it's only repeat on English. That's okay. That's great. So I'm going to copy that menu like this. I'm going to go into home FR and I'm going to paste it in here. 
There you go. Now remember, how do you know if an element is repeated on all pages? Um, it's highlighted in blue. It's rounded in blue line. Okay. Um, unpin and pin because I want it. To, I want to put it at the top. This is also a small trick. I learned in Webidoo that is also very easy to to do. So here again, I can paste it. And pin and pin. There you go. I'm just gonna position it. Now I know that. Okay, on my French. Okay, so on my home page, I have my normal English menu. Now what I want to do is that on my home FR, I want to change the menu to English, right? So let me also position it correctly. Then do you see on the properties panel? Again, like I, I, I showed you before, select menu, change from English to French. There you go. So on my French page, I have my French menu. That's the, that's the whole idea. So what I'm going to do, because new contact, to, contact us is a, a bit longer, uh, I'm going to go here, click double, double click here, and I'm just going to make it bigger so we can all, it's all in one line, and then move it up like this. Wonderful. Next, I'm going to go to my home Spanish and do exactly the same thing. So I'm going to select my menu, go to the properties panel, change English to Spanish. There you go. I'm done. Now that I've done that, all I need to do is go back to my home page, or you can still keep doing it on the current page, and select my menu, right click, and repeat on all pages. Now, careful, don't repeat on all the pages of the website. Repeat only on the English section, like this. Okay? This is exactly, remember when we did the folders uh, and we put all our uh, English pages or French pages, so this is the English folder with all the uh, all the, the English pages. And then I click Save. There you go. And now it's around in blue. Next, I'm going to go to Home FR, select my menu, right click, repeat on all pages. Careful. Repeat on all French pages. And then I'm going to go to my Home, Spanish, select my menu. Too quick. Repeat on all pages, only Spanish. There you go. Wonderful. Okay. So uh, just to show you the steps, let's uh, let's just simply go over it. Now, <clears throat> one, uh, go to your English homepage, uh, copy paste the menu on the French homepage and paste it on the French, of course, uh, and copy and paste it on the French homepage and also on the Spanish. Change the menu to French on the French page and Spanish to the Spanish page. And of course, make sure that it's well uh, paste it in, okay, like I did before with uh, expanding the menu inside. Uh, and of course, step B, select the English menu on the English homepage, right click, repeat on all pages, careful, only check the English pages. And do the same thing for French and like our case, Spanish as well. All right, I hope uh, it's, it's pretty clear. Um, and uh, yeah, wonderful. Okay, so now that that you've done that it's it's basically you you said home fr home uh home or normal home fr for french and home sp for uh spanish what you want to do is that you go to pages and let's go to french french home fr i'm not going to call it home fr i want to call it in the home in the french translated version which is called okay so i'm going to change here see here where it says name in the menu i'm going to say well all in capital Okay, no, like this, okay? This means homepage in French, okay? All right, so if I go here, okay, this is for home. Then what I'm gonna do, give me a second, let's go back. Home SP, I'm gonna change it to uh, I know I wrote it down here. This is for changing the menu, of course. Remember, now we want to navigate to our chosen language, but we need to change the menu name. Okay, so this happens to all the pages. That just so happened that I have only one page, uh, but this is oops, basically it. Pagina de inicio. Hope I say it right. Let's say pagina de inicio which is kind of weird, but okay, let's go with it. Um, this is for the home SP. Click OK, Pagina de Inicio. Um, then we go to Pagina de Inicio, and we change it to bigger. There you go. Obviously, my menu will be 
extremely long. So you just resize it. One, two, three. Yes, of course. This is repeating all pages. It's going to appear on all, on all my pages. And then I click OK. And uh, wait for it. Wait for it. There you go. This is the Pagina de Inicio, of course. OK, if I want to go to English, boom, home, services, demo, testimonials, plans, blog, contact. Let's go to French. And voila, there you go. All right, so again, go to pages, place your mouse over the page name, select the settings icon, it's a, the, it's a sort of a gear icon, rename the name in the menu section to the name it's trans, uh, 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 to the name in the translated language, for example, home, okay, pagina de inicio. Now, also, second warning, okay? Uh, make sure your menu does not repeat on all pages, just on the language pages, okay? And of course, I always suggest to do uh, one page at a time when you're translating a page, when you're duplicating the page and then you're putting it uh, putting into another folder to another language, duplicate the first page and then tr and then move it around and then uh, and that's it. Duplicate and then move it to the next folder. Duplicate and then uh, move it to the next folder. Why am I saying that? Because every time that you duplicate a page, it keeps the name in the menu. Now you don't want to get confused. Okay, uh, this is why when you duplicate a page, it, it, it always ends up at the bottom. So it's important that you watch out uh, to and and make sure that you every time that you want to make a translated page, duplicate it, transfer it, and then work with it. Okay, so this is extremely extremely important. So let's talk a bit um, about the buttons or the menu uh, the menu language. Okay, so. It's very simple. Let's say in my case, I have two languages, English, French, right? So I'm gonna bring, let's say, two buttons. I'm gonna put them here, right? So what I'm doing right now is I'm doing buttons. So the first button, I'm gonna say EN for English. Where am I? Oh, sorry. I don't wanna put them there. Put them in my home. There you go. One, two. Let's call that English. Let's call that FR for French, okay? And basically, what I'm going to do, if I go on the Properties panel, of course, you design it however you want. If I go to the Properties panel, I want the FR to lead to what page? To the French page, which is called OK, right here. The English page will be led to the top menu, to the home page. There you go. OK. So if I publish this right now, There we go. Okay, so if I click on English, I'll be led to the home page. But if I click on French, you're going to see that my buttons disappeared. Why? Because I need to repeat these buttons on the same page. So you have, I'm going to present you two options. So why, the question is why when I click on FR, I'm led to French, but I cannot see the but the buttons anymore because I need to have this element not repeat on all pages, just on the page it's associated to. So if it's French for home, then uh, French for okay. So repeat on all pages. Let's unselect this home page and where is the French? French French as you see here, home French. Repeat on all pages again. You unselect everything. You just make sure that it's repeated on home and that it's repeated on home FR for French. Then you publish. And now if I click on English, I'm on English. If I click on French, I'm on French. And again, why is it not repeated? Home.
Okay, right. Oh, my bad. Um, home FR. That's what I wanted to do. Uh, home FR. There you go. My bad. Um, all right, so let's publish it. There you go, FR, and voila. So I'm in the French version, and I can still go back to English. I can go back to French. I can go back to English. All right. So steps. Drag and drop the button element or the buttons element. Name it. Name its language. For example, uh, EM like we did before, and FR. Go to the properties panel and link to the translated page. Okay, then you can do the process for every page or you can make the button repeat on all pages from the home page. However, that button will always lead to the translated home page as it is a repeat on all pages element. Now, I did see a lot of websites that they only had French and English repeat on all pages. And if a client wants to go from about us English to about us French, he clicks on about us French and he's led to the home page, and from there he navigates. What you can do is that you can make a button on every page and have it repeated on both its language and its second language. Okay, so you have the option. Okay, so this is for buttons. Now, other people like myself, I put a menu. And I called it language. And this menu is called the language menu. And I have English, I have French, and I have Espanol. I can do this process many times. But again, I, I personally don't care if a user goes back to the French homepage and then navigates from there. Okay, I care just that he has all, all the translated language. So let's first of all delete that. What you can do is that because I have three, I have French and Spanish and English. Oops, sorry. Top menu is English. You can also rename your menu by clicking here, English. Click OK. So English, French, Spanish. Simple as that. Now, because I want them, um, you can you can literally do a menu. So let's create a new menu, call it language. Okay, make a link that leads to nowhere. Let's add the English, the French, and the Spanish link. Okay, and this leads to the homepage. French leads to the homepage in French, home FR. And this links to home Spanish. Let's add a new one, new link. What link? New home, home, home FR. And what page name? It, call it OK. Click OK. And just drag it a tiny bit to the right so that it's a submenu. And then that's it. Now don't pay attention to that. It'll be changed. All you need to do is publish. There you go. I'm going to have my language and you see the new home FR. If I click here, I am led to the new home page where, of course, the menu that we did together is located. All right. And this is just a duplicated page. I did not translate that page, uh, that page itself. So let's go over this, the steps together. So one, you create a new menu. Add new links and name them by, the, uh, by their language, so English, French, etc., so that we know uh, where they're navigating. Call it language, the, the folder, the menu, um, or name it by its initial language. So if, if, the, if the main website is in English, then you can just say, oh, it's in English. Uh, if you want to go to French, click on English, and you're going to have a drop-down. Drag and drop the menu element, and then select, as you can see, here on the properties panel, select the menu, which is language, and select the menu on the properties panel under pages, language menu, connect all the link to the translated page like I did with you right now. All right. 
questions it was simple enough uh, a bit complicated to explain because uh, i need to say language one language two second first uh but go ahead ask all your questions uh we have enough time and uh yeah that's that's basically how to make a multilingual website easy as it is of course again just make sure that you're making your page responsive before duplicating that page all right so go ahead i'm listening to uh, well, i'm reading the questions out loud <laughs> if there are i see some personal questions very quickly um but uh i'm gonna give like around 10 minutes uh, if you guys want to ask questions in regards to that webinar so uh feel free all right so we have a, a great question from fred how would you set up an image to click such as a flag to navigate from one language to another okay great question i was actually expecting that question so let's i'm going to go to an icon call uh to a, i'm, I'm going to download an icon uh, flat icon which which basically are images right um and i want france cool let's download that download there you go and let me just refresh this and what i'm going to do i'm just going to drag and drop an image i'm going to put it here from now so you can all see the image and on my download there you go france okay i'm going to make it very small well very small you get the idea so we want to link that to the french version of the page so again everything is done through the properties model so here you see link to page okay or home fr which would be better and then you just need to make sure that it's repeated on the fr page and this page but basically this is exactly how it works. Now I'm just gonna publish it and you'll uh, you'll be able to see magic coming to life. So you see, I click here, French version. All right, so um, I see that everybody understands this webinar. How wonderful. Um, I just wanted to let you know that we are going to publish this on my channel. You're also going to get an email uh, about it. Um, and uh yeah i guess that's it thank you very much for for joining the webinar uh, it was really great so hope to see you soon very uh hope to see you very soon